Steve is there and where they will be presenting to you. Uh, I think you said this is coming in April. I believe they will have it. So, uh, is there anything that, in order for the Commission to make an informed decision concerning the question that the Chairman expressed about the role of the developer in sharing this cost or bearing any of this cost? Versus the county, uh, the system there is called. Is there anything you need to give us now or any information you want us to obtain from you and present to you for you to make a decision? Yes, Absolutely. I think we need that information on what that projected cost is going to be to all those developers out there. I think as well as that we need to look at that ordinance and we need to begin to move forward to see if, it, if an adjustment needs to be made in that area. And we need to do that relatively quickly. Yeah, I think we need to look at our fees that we're charging them. And what it, it, what it really should be. If they're not high enough or too high, either way, we should figure out what a true cost those tap on fees or the dollar should be. Just a little bit of information about the growth point. This station did its size big enough. It has pumps big enough that it is going to hold the 290 uh, acres of uh, Howard Basher. So it'll take care of that particular subdivision there. The Howard Basher uh, sewage will not need to go to uh, Nelson Hill's lift station. It'll go to the Grove Point lift station. That, that one was size big enough to handle the whole development. That, that one. Thank you. one other thing I would mention that when that we looked at initially on the, uh, before there was a third party coming in on Nelson Deal, the county was sharing the part of that cost in the fact that we were going to handle the piping on the outside. We, had, we, we did take a share of that. It wasn't 100% that we were looking at on well, uh, along those lines is, is that the issue as much as anything is where, where we stand at with the ordinance and policy. Right? It's black and white to y'all. I mean, you look at the policy, you look at the ordinance, you say this is what we can do and this is what we can't do. So my point is, is that if we're beginning to get into an area where we have an issue with that, it's time for us to take a serious look at it to see if those adjustments need to be made. You're saying, Mr. Brown, you're saying just on our side of the pipe, if you want to look at it, if there's improvements that we need to do to our system that we need to consider taking on those costs. Not anything in the development. Side. Absolutely. The developer not. still runs all of its infrastructure. Absolutely. It's just to make our primary Absolutely. main system function. That's right. And my point is, is that if you've got a subdivision and it's 100 acres and you've got a line coming out of that subdivision, then from, from wherever it taps into our system, the responsibility of upgrading that system, in my opinion, should be from that point on. If it increases the pipe size, if it increases the lift station, whatever that is, that should be on the system, not on the developer. Mark? Clear? Yes. Thank you. Yes, regarding water meters. There's something in here that I just flipped past when I didn't stop and look at it. The, um, are we in a process of upgrading? I know that it's a recent one of the city council meetings. And then I can tell you from my position on GIFA that they're, they're long for upgrading their meters to electronics on our next agenda. And we'll figure out that it'll be approved. Um, where are we on that? We're, he's just about ready to give you a report. Oh, I'm and sorry. Go back, I'm sorry. Then go back to the issue that the chairman just verbalized. Can you look at that? Yes. Yes. Steve. 